Hey everyone, The Flying Alucha here, and it is that time again where we unbox one of the rarest anime memorabilia in my collection. We've gone from my number one, which is Ghost in the Shell Deluxe Edition, my Full Metal Alchemist Ultimate Edition, and now this bad boy. I've got a few other rare ones in my collection, like uh, Buckno and uh, Lucky Star Collectors, as they're very rare and expensive. But uh, this, this is like the holy grail of ne Neon Genesis Evangelion DVD. We're full stop, really. There's so many different editions, but this bad boy takes the top spot. This is, well, this is just fantastic. Never thought I'd get my hands on this, but here it is. <laughs> this is truly amazing. Now, I've, I've done an unboxing of a Platinum Edition before. I did a slim, slim Platinum Edition before. And uh, I think I bought it quite a lot, maybe 80 odd quid or something. And then it had like a big dent on the top. Do you remember that? And it's still on my channel now. It's like a thousand views. But uh, I felt like it's got a thousand views. Should I just keep it up? And then I did... And then if you look at the, I think it's either the description or the link, in the, uh, or the under description. Sorry, the description or the comment section. I uh, I left a link to, it was like my big box, you know, my hard box collection, my entire hard box collection. And uh, I showed you the newer one I got. So I sold the dented one for quite a lot of money. So I made a, a bit of a profit. And then I randomly, out of nowhere, someone was selling the slim box with the actual original sheet with it for like 18, 15 pounds or something. And I managed to get it for like under 20 quid, which is just amazing. Uh, I'll show you it at the very, very end of this video. But uh, in this video, I'm going to be showing you this ultimate rare Neon Genesis Evangelion box set. And then I'm going to show you all the other editions. Well, I haven't got all of them, but I'll show you pictures and the names of all of them. And then, uh, yeah, but if you're just here for the unboxing, I'm going to do that first. And then, you know, showcasing every other Neon Genesis collection at the very end of the video. But to have this, I only paid £95 for it, which is just incredible. Now... Uh, on eBay, on eBay there's only one listing on eBay of this, one listing and it's going for like £650 and I got this for 95 quid. I think originally they wanted like 150 for this, then they put it down to like 95 and I said oh, I'm, I'm a bit afraid that this is going to sell out because you put it down in price. I was like uh, any way you can reserve it for me and at the end of February I'll buy it. And they said, you know what I'll do? They said, I'll put it up to 195 so that way people are going to be less interested in buying it. And I thought, that is the nicest thing you can do. So she put it up to 195 And then uh, I think a few people just unwatched it because they're like, no way am I paying that. And then at the very end of February, when I got paid uh, for my month's wages, I uh, offered her £95 and she accepted it. And then boom, here we are. I am ecstatic to have this. This is such a rare anime box set these have become less valuable i think less or more it's now that the uh, blu-rays have come out and the ultimate editions have come out but uh really weird in the camera it looks sort of crooked didn't it but it's not i promise you it's not it's just the way the uh reflection comes off the box but look at that if it the lighting shows it properly i don't think it does Look at that. Look at Shinji. Ray. Asuka. Misato. Uh, Kaji. Uh, Gendo. And Akaru. Who either loves you or likes you. <laughs> Whichever way you watch it. Netflix or original. But, uh... Yeah, I'll, sh I'll show you the box. The amazing Asuka. Camera's got a bit weird. Oh well. Uh, Asuka, I can't remember her voice actor. She's really nice, but she is 
I don't know, she's signing like weird memorabilia of Neon Genesis on her YouTube channel. And then uh, she's selling it on eBay, and it's like, either she's broke or, or she just, I don't know, it's some weird thing where you're just signing shit and then selling it on eBay on bid. But uh, I can't remember her name. Uh, let me let me Google it real quick. That's right, Tiffany Grant. When when I actually saw a picture, I thought she was younger, but she's actually quite an older lady. But uh, she loves Oscar. You know, out of all the voice acting roles, she said Oscar was her favorite she ever played. She's got like a crap ton of memorabilia. Uh, when we get when I show you my fourth one of this, this one right here with Misato on it, should have just put it on the extras of that, but whatever. They put it on the extras of this one. There's a little extra which I've been talking about in previous uh, even getting unboxings. The little redhead girl is included with this set. The slim box doesn't have it. The ultimate edition doesn't have it. The uh, individual original DVD volumes does not have it. But this big box ADV. ADV has a habit of getting the big box, you get all the extras. And then you get the slim ones, you don't. Like my uh, Excel saga, which I recently showed you guys. All the extras are stripped off of that, but they're put in a big, big box. So, yeah. I'll show you the other side. This one isn't on the slim box. This is actually, like, exclusive to the Platinum big box version. That's so cool. And then the other side. The amazing Misato. Now, weird thing about this is it's not even dented. It's just, re it's just, the way this is made, this box, it folds. So it's like there's a crease on it, which I don't know. I paid £95. I paid less than £100 for this, so I'm grateful it doesn't come with big scratches all over it or chips or big massive dents. There aren't any big massive dents on this, thankfully. There aren't any tears. It's it's a very old box. I think it came out like 2002, 2003, but I'll, I'll go through all the releases with you at the end of the video. But, uh... Really cool Misato. I'll show you the top now. This is a top with Gendo, a little bit of dirt there. I can just clean off. I'm gonna show you the bottom. It's a Kaori. It's very dark, you cannot even make out any of it. If I can put it in the light for you without taking all the hopefully that helps. There you go. Region one. Go to four by three. Got the Star Child right there. So you know it's legit. It's Region One ADV. Another way you can tell if these bad boys are legit is two ways. It's like spotting a Harry Potter, you know, original. You know, there's like loads of errors in the Harry Potter ones. The old Dumbledore, the wand, one wand coming up twice in the book. Uh, but uh, yes, this is where you can tell. That would be a lot faded. I think this little bit here in the corner would be completely faded. This is more darker, more purpley, more... You can get the outline of it more. You can tell. And then the biggest one is the G. The G right here. If it's fake, they'd have a little black line going down there. So it'd be around about here. But uh, there's there's more fake slim ones than there is these ones. I've never seen a fake one of this before. But the slim ones do have like a fake shit. And thankfully, my two slim versions, the dented one and the newer one I got, are both original anyway, so I never managed to get a fake one. But uh, that's nine minutes of me talking and showing you. Let's show you what's inside. Platinum one. See, I don't know why it just keeps folding. You can see right there, they tend to fold a lot. I don't know why they do, but I've seen a lot worse condition than this. A lot worse. This is actually really good condition, apart from that one little fold. There's the extras. After showing you all the uh, editions from the ADV I've ever released of Evangelion, I'll show you all the extras on each individual disc, so I'll go through it with you. And, uh... Anyway, if you want to read that. A lot of people don't show these in their videos, but thankfully I am. Very reflective, that's why it's harder to see. One of a kind numbered decal inside. I think that's what you put in your parking sticker. 
15 plus this is suggested which it doesn't have an age rating but it just says 15 plus so really cool uh the uh australian version uh basically kind of look like these and they got like a side like that but they don't have the uh silvery sleeves that we do so there it is everything is included with this thankfully the uh seller managed to keep it all I'm not going to open this. It's a collector's item. Of course I'm not. Any fool that ever does, you know. Here's the back of this. In Japanese and English. So don't be put off you think it's a bootleg. You know, bootlegs are usually in Korean. They're not Korean, in like bloody Malaysian. This is English and Japanese, so... Of course, if you're wondering, yes, this has Fly Me to the Moon. All the ADV versions have Fly Me to the Moon. But uh, this is the disc. This is the disc. I'm going to show you the booklet now. Cool things that Americans get that we don't. They always get these, you know, things that show you, like, each episode, like a... I don't know what it's called, but... See, like, it tells you a little thing about every episode, which is just amazing. I thought it was a bit of dirt, apparently it's not. <laughs> it doesn't hide anything. This is a top, top quality one. Look at that. I thought it was the first angel. No, the first angel's like fucking... That ugly ass thing that's crucified up in the thing. <laughs> oh, yep. Yeah. You know, they love to sexualize children, didn't they? Yes, they do. Do the Japanese. Uh, the Fifth Angel. I can never... Ramiel. I can never bloody remember any of their names. I don't think anyone hardly does anyway. Oh, my sticker sort of fell down there. That is the first one. Let's get on to the second one, shall we? The oh-so-popular doll character. That is Ray Iron Army. I got some shirts and uh, hoodies and stuff, I think, of Ray Iron Army that I'd like to show you later in the video. It's the front. That is the back. As you can see, the back's in English, and then the actual back of the case isn't. Commentary with Tiffany Grant and Alison Ship. I don't think you ever had that in slim versions. Do -do -do. Like before, it also has the booklet included. Disc. Oh, they have to make it so hard, didn't they? Look. There we go. Didn't rip the thing, did I? Thankfully not. Yeah. Let me show you the back of the case real quick. Asuka appears in this one. Johnny Young Bosch, but I'd, in the Netflix version, he didn't fit the character for me. I prefer the original voice actor. It's cool that they show you all the original, uh, all the angels. You can just look at these booklets every time you're about to watch an episode. Okay, let's go on to the third one. Toi. Here is a toi. I'm doing toi. Number three. Sorry if you can hear planes, there's a lot going over. I'm not that far from an actual airport. <laughs> I 
don't know why I can hear the planes even louder. Maybe I left my window open. Let me check. No, they're just particularly louder today for some reason. That's the bat. I showed you the bat, didn't I? Yeah. Shit, back at this case. I'm putting on the box that it came in, so. Building 5.1 surround sound. I've heard the actual slim version has better sound, I think, than this version does. I thought they were the same disc, but they're not, because the extra has been stripped. Which you would have thought the sound on this version would be better, isn't it? Seeing as it's more expensive, but apparently not. Ninth Angel. Matter Rails. <laughs> they always ended in L, didn't they? The Eleventh Angel. That took over Unit Zero, didn't it? Oh, this is the one that just takes over the whole thing. You never actually see this one. It just, I think it just takes over the whole of the... I thought this is the one that overtook Ray, isn't it? It overtook the uh, Ava. But it basically can, uh, nearly took over the whole of of Dogma. And, uh, yeah, kind of put the end to the actual Nerve headquarters, but... There's Ava Unit 1. Yeah, so famous Ava. And we'll look at number four, is it? Yeah. Miss Misato, here she is. Uh, the show's favourite, along with like Ray. I think they're like, I think America voted like Asuka as the lead, f you know, female in this series. But uh, a lot of people like. Uh, Misato, and a lot of people hate uh, Oscar, a lot of people hate a voice actor, and a lot of people love it. It's a love or hate, but uh, the little redhead girl, there you are. That's what I really wanted, that no other collection has. I think the Steel Tin has it, and this version, but so happy to have it. Doesn't, uh, isn't included in the original volumes or the slim one, so to have this is really cool. And, uh, yeah, let's look inside the disc real quick. Again, the booklet. Ooh. That, that Ava was terrifying, wasn't it? The way it just engulfed Ava Unit 1. Is it, is, is no, Unit 2. Yeah, 0, and this is 1. No, this is 2, isn't it? Yeah, Ava Unit 1 is the uh, red one. So it's the purple one. AV Unit 1 is the purple one. AV Unit 2 is the purple one. Right, let me let, let just go through this. AV Unit 0 is Ray's one. AV Unit 1 is Oscar's one. And then AV Unit 2 is Shinji's one, I'm pretty sure. I think Oscar's one was the original one. Hope I got that right. <laughs> Pretty sure AV Unit 2 is in fact Shinji's one. Oh, I, I could just double check in it. I need to double check. AV Unit 0. Alright, and just in case I make a mistake in this video, I'm going to double check. Nope, I think I did get it right. AV Unit 1 is Shinji's Ava. The purple and green one is AV Unit 1. AV Unit 2 is Oscar's, and AV Unit 0 is Ray's. Right, we've got that out of the way now. <laughs> okay, where was I? That's AV Unit 2. Even though it's the original Ava, so I don't know why it's called AV Unit 2, but okay. Let's 
Kids Unit Zero, Prototype, and Oscar's like the actual one, isn't it? Fly me to the moon. For the ending song in Genesis TV series, Fly Me to the Moon is used in numerous versions of this piece, and in later versions is taken off due to copyright, but... But for this you new know, release, further versions were produced. Every episode of Flying to the Moon, when you count a difference in the Dina Ever video version. Not mentioning Frank Sinatra for some reason, but okay. But yeah, in this version, there is Fly Me to the Moon. Let me sing upon the stars. Did it, did it, did it, did On Jupiter and Mars. Let's go. Fly me to to the moon. <laughs> uh, but, uh, that is the fourth one. Number five. The video is taking a little longer than I'd hoped, but <laughs> it'll be worth it in the end. And then uh, the Amphi Joshua and Ngarnu fight is on at the moment, but not the actual fight, it's just the uh, undercards at the moment, which are pretty lackluster fighters, so I don't really give a shit about them, so I have to hurry this video up. <laughs> but, um, uh, Mm-hmm. Yeah. A few more extras, which are cool. Mythology. I think it's a really cool one. And look at the side. That one was a bit tougher to open for some reason. Hmm. Really hard to do one handed. Oh, I remember that. God damn. Wasn't a. Toji, I think his name is. Wasn't he the guy piloting that before it went fucking crazy mode? These are really good artwork. They're so clear, aren't they? 13th Angel, yeah. The one that is it Toji is supposed to pilot. Fourth child. Fourth child. Shame you never got to see him properly pilot that, but... That's when you see... AV Unit... One just absolutely wreck it. <laughs> This one was crazy shit. This one, like, tsh, fucking fucked up. AV Unit 1, bro. Unit 1, yeah. He fucked him up, mate. I can't even remember how Unit 1 beats this thing. I think it goes berserker mode again and somehow and regrows its limbs. But, um, yeah, that was a fucking weird AV that was. Mm hmm. Yep, and then we're going to look at number six. Six has a Zigendo Akari. Fuck. Come on. There we go. Note that if you ever go CX, you'll never get the box, the big box. But I'll talk a little bit about that later on. Oh, a lot more Japanese in this one. These have, yeah, the director's cuts as well. Oh, look, as the original episodes and the director's cuts. It's very much like a Resurrection and Reborn that the... Uh, ADV released after the series. So they released, I think, the recent series and then Resurrection Reborn straight afterwards. So look, the original ones and then the director's cuts. So if you get like Resurrection, I think, it will have the exact same as what this has. And I think they changed the voice cast as well. Uh, well, Kauru wasn't in this one. So when we go to Seven, I'll speak about him in a minute. But uh, they had a guy. Uh, Vic Mignogna <laughs> voicing the guy with the long brown hair 
and then the girl with the short brown hair, Maya, I think her name is, is voiced by uh, the person who accused Vic Mignana of sexual assault, uh, Monica Rial. <laughs> She's also in this episode, uh, voicing, yeah, it's only one episode, I think, that they're in. But, uh, and then the guy's really good friends with Monica Rial, uh, who's voices a lot of characters, can't remember his name. Voices Karu in the uh, director's cut as well. I think I showed you that already, didn't I? Yeah. Open it up. Sorry, the camera's done that, but I had to do it somehow. Hey, there it is. A lot of you do not know, this was the original Ray. This is Ray 1. So this is the original, original, original Ray. The one that we all know and love is Ray 2. She's the uh, the follow-on clone from the original. But this is the original Ray, which blink and you miss it and you won't remember this character. But uh, yeah, she is the original. And then Ray 2 is the one we all know and love. And then Ray 3 appears towards the very end. Uh, Karu looks up at her. And I think there's like a Ray 4 or something in the rebuilds. I can't remember. Mysteries revealed, oh yes, you know, must focus on this, don't just watch this to react, oh uh, sorry, relax, you really have to concentrate with this series, I re-watched this, I watched it in English, Japanese, uh, watched it in original English again, and then I think I watched it in Netflix version, so I've watched the original dub twice, the Japanese one, which is very good as well, and then the horrible Netflix version, which I think Misato's uh, act, uh, voice actor is pretty good, and at times, Shinji's. But her voice actor is just atrocious. Atrocious, mate, in the Netflix dub. Forget all the other characters. Only Shinji's voice actor and Misato's did decent enough jobs. Misato probably the best out of all of them for voice actor. I think that's the one that kills Ray. Yeah, I think that's the one that kills Ray. Yes. Now let's have a look-see at the final one. The final one with a Kaoru. That's how I pronounce it. Uh, he was only in one episode, but he's still a memorable character. Netflix really fucked him over saying he liked Shinji instead of loved him. But, yeah. He always has a gruesome... In the anime, he always has a gruesome end, doesn't he? <laughs> in the rebuilds and the series. Now, a little known fact about this particular DVD. There is, in fact, an Easter egg. Now, uh, in the last, last episode, I think episode 26, yeah? Take care of yourself. There's four audio tracks. Oh, wait, three, I think. There's English, Japanese... There may be a French or something. If there is, then it's probably the fourth track. But I think there's only like three languages. Yeah, there's only three. So uh, the third one, that the entire episode, it'll be muted. You won't hear anything. And you'll be like, hold on, why is the audio muted? This is something wrong. But when you get to the end credits, there's Shinji's rant, where uh, Spike Spiegel goes on a rant about uh, how, how has this been resolved? You know, what's going on? You know, does a bus run through here? <laughs> And uh, i show you that in this clip, uh, in this clip, in this video, when I go through all the extras and shit, but I thought that was really funny. And it's on YouTube as well. But uh, it's an Easter egg included in this one here. Not sure if it's included in the slim one. Definitely don't think it's included in the original uh, volumes, but it's just funny nonetheless. Yeah, it's only included in the platinum ones. So, yeah, let's open it up. On the air version and then the director's cut version. Yeah, his voice actor changes on the director's cut. 
so in that one it changes and in the original it doesn't. Heaven's Door. I thought there was a Cowboy Bebop episode that said Heaven something. Two endings. Two endings, yeah. The end of Evangelion ending, and then the... <laughs> I think episode 24 was the uh, original ending, and then episode 25 and 26 just went elsewhere because they ran out of budget. They should have just ended episode 24. I don't know why they didn't. And then episode 25, a.k.a. the end of Evangelion. <laughs> Not the original episode 25, which the weird shit that goes on. At least every female character gets fucking nude in some episode. Uh, other fucking uh, crazy ass bloody flashback or something. Or Yeah, that is the ending. That's practically the ending. Well, this is the beginning of like the episode, but the ending is practically like that as well. Third child. Wait, what? If he's the... F right, the... Karen Agisa and the third child. Yeah, he's the third. Ray's the first. Why don't you just call him Shinji instead of the third child? Toju's the fourth child, but I think he's the fifth child. And then I think the one from the Rebuild films, I think her name's Mai or something. She's probably the sixth child. I don't know. And you three, four... Yeah. Maybe you need two, which I called one earlier, but then I <laughs> corrected it. Don't really go through all this. You're not going to read this in this video anyway. Unless you want to, which I'm not going to allow you. But, uh, yeah, and that is it. That is each one. I've got the end of Evangelion and the death and rebirth, but they're in separate videos. Just look at my Evangelion playlist. But uh, now I'm going to show you every single release from ADV. So we have the Platinum Singles. They are the original ones that came in seven individual volumes, very much like this edition does. They had a version that also came with a box. You hold all of them. That's called the Perfect Edition. The American one had a box that just had all the individual volumes. And then the UK had a box that uh, just had, like, two cases that had the discs inside, which the American one looked cooler. But, uh, yeah, they're, like, the two separate Perfect Editions. Uh, I believe the uh, box, all of them, as well as the Nerve Parking Pass decal. Oh, this talking about Platinum Singles, what? Uh, yes, yeah, the Platinum Singles is basically this right here. The, uh, these are the singles. I've already showed you that already. <laughs> oh, here we are. This Yeah, this is basically... Uh, the, the Platinum Singles released, blah, 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 and then a box that came with it, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, this is basically what I'm unboxing in this video. I believe the Vibrate on these are less than the Platinum Complete. The Platinum Complete is the slim box version. So the Vibrate, I think that's audio, I'm not, video Vibrate, is that the picture quality, right? Okay. Apparently picture quality is better on the slim version than it is this version. But if you want an ultimate experience, like the big box, the extras, and you get the version I've got now. It did come with the special features. Uh, I believe the Vibrate are less than the Platinum set. But it did come with the special features and booklets, which I've just showed you in this video. Each volume that had everything from glossary, interviews, yeah, yeah, yeah. Pressing volume, missing, wait. Be warned that if you get this version, early pressing of volume one had missing dub audio. What? Hopefully I haven't got an earlier one. <laughs> Platinum one in one had missing audio. We, we'll go through that when we uh, open up all the discs and put them in the, uh, in the player. From episode, uh, from episode three, I checked. Vol uh, volume 1 had, from episode 3, I checked as the only set, and unfortunately I'm missing it too. 
There's no way to get a replacement disc anymore, and I really no way to tell if you buy it either. Fortunately, the other editions shouldn't have this issue. The Platinum Complete, aka the Thin Pack, which is just talked about. Uh, yeah, if you look at my channel, the Platinum Complete. Uh, you know, I'll, I'll just show you a picture now in this video in case you don't want to go to that. Uh, if, in case you don't want to look at my other videos, which I, I recommend you do, but in case you don't know what it looks like, the Platinum Slim, aka the Platinum Complete, looks like this. Ta-da! There we are. That's what it looks like. How much is it going for? About 627 pounds. <laughs> okay. Uh, there's a lot of cheap ones out there, just you need to look. But yeah, that is the one I have. I remember I uploaded it onto this uh, channel, but it had a dent. And then uh, and look at the description or the comment, and then go to my other unboxings, which are, unboxings are just showcases of where I show you all my hard boxes, and it's featured in that video, the newer updated one with the uh, paper sheet. And in case I decide to delete the uh, dented version, which got like a thousand views on my channel, then, uh, you know, it will always be on the my entire hard box DVD collection video, it will always be there. But, uh, yeah, now we look at the other editions. And then we have the Platinum Perfect, which is, yeah, thin pay, uh, installed in a tin. So they are similar to the singles in that I believe these had special features. Yeah, just like this version, for some reason, the steel tin also had the special features. So everything identical onto these discs are probably exactly the same as the steel tin discs. They also didn't have any of the booklets. Well, that's not entirely true, as I think the UK version uh, had like a digipack. So it says thin pack cases, where I'm pretty sure the UK version had a... Not pretty sure, I know. It had a digipack, which is really cool, and it had a, a booklet with it. And I'll show you a picture of that in a minute. This is probably one of the most expensive editions beside a complete set of the Platinum singles in the box, which is what I'm unboxing in this video. So we'll show you that now. So this is uh, the steel tin. This is the American, ver the UK version. But uh, the UK and the American version. The UK has two versions, whereas the US has one, which is very strange. Uh, that They also just said there that it didn't come with a booklet, so they lied. So, yeah, it did come with a booklet, so I'm not sure why they said it didn't. But uh, look, you've got the slim cases there, which are pre they're pretty much like the same cases as what you get in the uh, Platinum Complete, aka the slim box version, but uh, they have the extras included, so that's what they look like. Same as what you get with the slim box, but they have extras with them. As you can tell, like right there, they have the Japanese language, so they're basically complete replicas of what I've showed you in this video. Complete replicas of what's on these cases. And if you get the slim version, then all the extras are stripped and the, the Japanese wording is gone. You get art cards with it as well. Yeah. So that is the uh, slim version of the UK version, and it's exactly the same as the US version. I'll show you the other versions quick. Okay, so I've had a really hard time finding the Region 1 US. You know what I just showed you now of all the slim uh, cases inside the steel tin? Well, I could only find them on the region code, aka the UK version. So I know there's one out there. I know there's a US version of the steel tin with the individual cases and the uh, booklet and art cards, but I just couldn't find it. But uh, I also couldn't find the UK version to this either. I had to find a German. I know there's a UK version of this. See, look, is a digipack there and up top. And if you look at the uh, dents, there's always going to be dents on this one. Uh, well, most of the time. Right, the back of here, this is a German, but it would have like a region code like right here. I couldn't find it as they've all sold out on eBay now. But see, a digipack. And a... Uh, it doesn't even advertise the booklet or anything in there. There's the uh, digipack, which looks really darn cool. Look at that. The guy isn't showing the actual... Oh, there you go. Pictures. There. Yeah, that's really cool. Let 
I tap that by accident. So I think they're the art cards. Well, that, that's the back of the booklet, and it that's the back of the booklet. Well, I can't find the uh, region two. Uh, is this region two? I think the UK and the Germany have the same region codes for their one. Yeah, it says region all code two, and it also is yeah. It's for playing a UK player. But there is a UK version out there which has the region code, but I just couldn't find it on eBay. It's really strange. But yeah, the uh, UK and Germany both have this version. I've never, ever seen a US version of that, so correct me if I'm wrong. But yeah, that is the other version of the steel tin. Anyway, moving on. After the Platinum Perfect, which was a steel tin, is the Platinum Holiday Edition. Which, uh, seven discs and a bigger DVD case, which kind of sucks, but I'll, I'll try and find that for you now. So this sucks. <laughs> this is the Platinum Holiday, it's just a case. And the discs come inside like that. I don't think anyone would ever want this. It's very blurry, but... Doesn't mention anything about the Tiffany Grant, uh, little redhead girl. I got on a call for my friend. Give me a second. Sorry about that. Uh, I was actually planning on going Norton Towers with him uh, later in March, but guy's taking his bloody time to actually. Uh, another story, but uh, yeah. Let me just quickly. And there's also this, which is also weird. Like Tampa, Hillsborough Country Public Library. <laughs> Same shit, yeah. And, uh. Yeah, they all look exactly the same. They all look shit. And go for a lot of money, too. <laughs> Let's, uh, go back to ours. Yeah, so the Platinum Holiday Edition, yeah. In a bigger DVD case. Is it a bigger one? It didn't really look like that. Similar to the Platinum Perfect, they have the special features, okay. But no booklets. This is also notably ADV's final release. God damn, I just tapped the fucking wrong thing. <clears throat> Where is it? It says something about ADV's final release. This is uh, ADV's final release of even getting before the series would be out of print for a long time. And unable to be streamed as well. Just like Berserk and Monster before those were put on Netflix. Like I mentioned above, the Platinum Complete Thin Pack release. It's very Platinums on eBay listed from Bally Bar. 200, 250. Individual volumes. I don't think it's an announcement. $40 if you're lucky. I'll go for like 18 quid. How's that? I don't think the announcement or even the expected release of the Blu-ray has called price of these to uh, drop. They've really pretty much stayed the same. Of course, the difference between a Platinum Edition and a Blu-ray release is going to be the following. Fly Me to the Moon is removed from the Blu-ray releases. English credits open in an ending, possibly on the Platinum releases. I doubt these will be on the Blu-ray. Yeah, probably not. ADV exclusive special features, obviously only certain Platinum releases, most the episode commentaries yet yeah, is released on the version I'm actually unboxing this video. Japanese Blu-ray DVX is exclusive only in the Blu-ray. Platinum, I believe, has some AR rush animatic special features you'll find on the Japanese Blu-ray DVD. But not all of them, it's so only some of them. Video quality, it goes without saying that the Blu-ray visuals will be infinitely superior. Yes, in every bloody way, it looks absolutely gorgeous. I've watched it on Blu-ray, it is just eye candy. What they've restored it, it looks brilliant. Thanks to Netflix for getting hold of it, because it looks fucking brilliant. Uh, every little scene where you're going through a tunnel and it's like red, it clears it up so well. I'm so happy a Blu-ray release came of a 95 series. If only Trigon got the same treatment and textualize. Uh I mean Gungrave got it, so why not the other Madhouse releases? 
Original ADV English dub is only dub is only available on previous eight wait. Original ADV English dub is the only dub available on my previous ADV DVD. It will only be available on the collector's not with editions. That's correct. OA episodes original aired version. I think that's what it meant. The Blu-rays will only be wait. The Blu-rays will only have the director's cuts. I actually believe the OA episodes of the platinum releases only mostly uh, director's cut episodes. Footage come for the uh, length. And, uh, it's just episode 23. The true OA episodes are perfect collection. Uh, the true OA episodes on the perfect collection, the 2002 box set, as well as the original DVD releases from 2000 to 2001. The 2002 from, uh, releases, the individual ones, are basically the perfect edition. The only thing that makes it a perfect edition is that you've got a big box to put them all in. So that's it. Really. As soon as you've got that box to house them all in, you can call it perfect. But then individual volumes. So, uh, something else. Uh, before I go back to this. So, see this box here? I have never, ever, ever seen this box here with a Region 2 code. I've never seen it. I don't even know if it exists. So, all I know is that the UK version did, in fact, have these sleeves here with the Region code in the back and whatever... But I don't think they ever had the original box with it, which sucks. So you only got these individually. Very much like the individual volumes, like, from 2000, 2001. The UK had, like, region codes on all of theirs, one, all theirs, with the little leaflets inside of them. But they never had the big box. So instead, instead uh, they got, like, a perfect edition, which just had a case. You know what? I'll show you that in, right now. So here is the US version. See, they got the box, whereas the US, uh, so the UK would just have all these individual ones, same artwork, but no box. So I'll show you the UK Perfect. This is the ugly ass UK Perfect. That looks kind of cool, but. See, and then you open it up and it's just two DVD cases. And then the last one, yeah, that's what it looks like. And I think they haven't showed the side. But uh, maybe I can find it for you. Okay, so I can't really find it, but on the other side of these two, uh, it has like AV Unit 1's face and half and half. So it's like one eye and the other eye. He looks really cool. But this guy hasn't showed the bloody pictures, so I'm not going to go into eBay looking. But as it, you know, as you take out this sleeve, it's like right here, and you see like left eye and the right eye of AV Unit 2. No, 1. <laughs> AV Unit 1 is Shinji's one. Okay, so I'm going to show you a few other releases. There's an Australian one right here, exactly the same as the one I've got, except it just has, like, DVD cases, and it doesn't have silvery cases. See, that very plain. See, no silvery cases, it's just that. So it's only exclusive to the US and the UK version, the silvery ones. Then... Let me show you... Wait, is that the UK version? Oh, that's the slim case. Yeah, that's the slim ones again. So let me show you... I'll, I'll go and find it. There's also one called the Champagne. So yeah, that is the Australian Platinum. I'll show you... I think there's an Australian Perfect as well. Oh, here we go. This is my version, which I'm unboxing in this video. £675. That's the only listing you'll find on eBay. So good luck getting your hands on it. Oh, they also offered me £500 and I said hell no. There's also one called a Champagne, which is this one. I don't know why they call it a Champagne. It looks, so, it looks really cool and glossy, doesn't it? That's the Champagne one. It's basically the perfect edition, but just a nicer looking box. Look at that. Um, I could have got my hands on this, but... Seeing as I got the individual UK DVD volumes, I decided not to get it. But it did end, and let me show you how much it ended at. Look at that, that looks so cool. And if you look just down here, hold on, if you can find it. Yeah, £50, and one person bidded. So all I know is if maybe if I put a bid in, they could have put a bid, a maximum bid of another £80 or £100. So even if I bidded, it's not guaranteed I would have, I would have won. So this person bidded fucking ages before this listing even ended. So they could have put a maximum bid of 100 in, but... 
as cool as this is, I mean, I've got the individual DVD volumes which you just see there. So I really didn't need to buy this. I don't need to get the perfect edition for the UK or the US version because I've got the individual DVD volumes which practically have the same contents on it. So, yeah, this looks cool, but I just I need the Platinums and the Blu-rays and the individual DVD volumes because that's it. That's really what I need. But uh, that is it. So let me go back to that article on the Reddit. Article, more like a paragraph, but... Um, what do they say? So honestly, if you're going all out, buy a platinum edition with the manga entertainment DVDs and Death and Rebirth at the end of ending right now, it might cost you much more than it's. A, so honestly, if you're going out to get the platinum edition with the manga entertainment, aka the Death and Rebirth, which first of all were absolutely shit. I don't know what manga entertainment did to those discs, but they are atrocious. Um, the Death and Rebirth, yeah, was crap. It just the actual film itself was shit because it was just recap. But the DVD transfer was awful, man. It was just so bad. It was so grainy, so shit. And then the end of Evangelion, because uh, I tried to make it in like full screen, but at the time it was only like small TVs were released. Uh, yeah, you got like the TV, and instead of four by three. It was in like a little square in the centre of the screen, which looks shit. But the only real way of seeing that in glorious HD is to get the Blu-ray. Any Blu-ray of uh, Neon Genesis will have the movie included. The standard Blu-ray to collect is any Ultimate, which is so cool. Except the uh, standard Blu-ray... Standard Blu-ray will only have the Netflix dub. Oh, can... Yeah. Yeah, forget about that. Jake Paul wants to fight this guy. I mean, fucking Mike Tyson. You can't even hardly stand. What a joke. Still can make bank on Netflix, though. Yeah, I think I'll leave a link to this in the description of this video so you can read it for yourself. But, uh, yeah. Now I'm going to show you... I'm going to look, uh, see where in the fight, the Anthony Joshua and Garnu, because I kind of want to see that. Uh, Yang, I think his name is. I kind of want to see his boxing fight. So, uh, I'll, I'll see where it is in that fight, and uh, yeah, I'm going to continue to record, just give me a second, I'm going to show you all the discs and what is on each individual seven volumes of the Platinum, all the extras and shit, and the Shinji's ran, but uh, give me a second to do that. Okay, so disc one, into the Blu-ray player. Uh, this is a Region 2 Blu-ray player, so I'm just going to test whether this Region 1 disc, which is pretty good condition. Yeah, it's the right condition. Into the Blu-ray player. I'm stretching, because <laughs> I'm not in a good position right now. Push that, because I can't reach the button. First of all, let's see if this plays. Playback prohibited. Okay, so we know it's definitely region one. Okay, let's go into my uh, multi-region Blu-ray DVD player. Okay, so into my Panasonic multi-region Blu-ray and DVD player. I haven't used in quite a while, actually, but here we go. Okay, it is playing. Ah, uh, classic. ADV. Not kid stuff, definitely not. No. <laughs> Trying to find that Blu ray remote.
it looks a lot clearer on the TV than it does on my screen. Uh, sorry, a lot clearer on my uh, phone than it does on the screen. Ray Ayanami. Good old ADV. Rest in peace. You paved the way for a lot of anime. Okay. Ah, of course, of course, my uh, remote, because the batteries are fucking dying in it. Of course, the remote is fucked and it won't do it. Give me a second. Well, I figured out why it wasn't working. I was using the wrong bloody remote. So, extras. Clean opening, closing, commentary. Commentary again with Spike Spencer. That's cool. Yeah. And that is disc one. Let's go into disc two. Platinum two into the DVD player. Same warning logo again. Let's just fast forward this bit real quick. Roroi Kenshin, by the looks of it. Oh, that's just a bunch of different anime. Same as the other disc. The speed is right up. It just looks so clear on my phone compared to what it actually looks like. That's mad. Okay, five episodes in this one. Extras include... Still going for that watery feel, and the Blu-ray did that. Clean opening, closing, commentary for episode eight. Tiffany Grant, animatic for episode nine. What's, what's that like? Just skip through this. Okay. Yeah, it's like little sketches for the show. Okay. So we'll go back to the main screen. If this video can get over 50 likes, I'll show you all the extras on the Blu ray disc. How do you like that? How do you like my uh, little cards there? <laughs> uh, I got a few more I could put up too. All right, we're gonna put platinum three now. Into the player, you go. Same a warning logo. Yeah, we've we've seen this like a billion times. We get it. Just so we know these discs is legit and they will show the same shit. Ugh, I need to get comfortable or not comfortable. Hmm, so that's the episode we got. What was this one? Let your boy get comfortable quick. There we go, we are comfortable. So, da, 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 da. 
extras. Oh, lot on this one. Do, 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 do. Uh -huh. The English remix process is cool. Kind of out of date now, but still. <laughs> okay, next one. Platinum 4, one I'm very excited to look at as it has an extra that I am looking forward to exploring in Yugo. Same old, same old. Yeah, pretty sure if I just skip that, you won't really miss much. Yeah. I'd like to see some trailers, but it looks like it ain't gonna happen. Uh, ooh, fourth child, that's a Toji. Uh, there it is! Clean opening, clean closing. Tiffany Grant, right going for ooh, animatic for 15. We know what his animatic look like. Little red haired girl. Hee <laughs> hee! I'm not going to go through the whole of this. I'm not going to because it's quite long. I don't want to take up as much as I've already done. But, uh, let me just... Give me a second. Oh, a BTW. Uh, Anthony Joshua just landed one of the most cleanest knockouts on Nganu I've ever seen. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's... Press this. Six minutes. Do I like Asuka? Well, there she is. I do think she's sort of milking her memorabilia. Not not in this video. It's really cool to see it all. But uh, on her YouTube channel, she does milk it a lot. I've got that on my Blu-ray Ultimate Edition. It's from the Laserdisc, yeah. But uh, no, she really milks it on her YouTube channel. She signs shit and then tries to get a lot of money for it on eBay. It's kind of sad. Alright, we're just going to skip through that. Because it's way too long. Wow, that's kind of cool. Little figurines and shit. She has a lot of it, didn't she? She really fell in love with this character. I've seen that. I've seen that little memorabilia before. I swear the guy fucking Tony Hawk had that. They're allowed to sexualise children, didn't they, the Japanese? <laughs> what kind of shit is that? Oh, the melon. She's on the melon. God damn, they'll sell anything when they, the Japs. See how long this is. God, she fucking does have some memorabilia, didn't she? Christmas one, yep. Yeah. Just get one with her with one eye. <laughs> That's cool. Wow. What? Fucking hell. That's a sticker from a uh, Platinum One. Wait, where's that again? Oscar fan in the world. 
Yes, her voice really does fit the character, doesn't it? No one will voice it better than she does. Still think she's milking what she does on YouTube, but... You do you, she makes money, whatever. Okay, so Platinum 4, Lego. Platinum 5. You. Go. Okay, so we've got some new little trailers on this one. Robotech. Macross. Robo Rekinchin. Yeah, Genesis Baby. I wonder if that's still around. I <laughs> doubt it. Oh, seen this shit. Skippity skip, skip, skip. We know about you, ADV. Skippity skip, skip, skip. Hmm, that looks interesting. This is, makes sense why it's never released on the Blu ray because this is ADV original extra, so. Have a little gander at that. Little gander. Oh, way too long. Even getting. Oh, it skips right through it. Well, you get the general idea. You get the general idea. <laughs> okay, onto disc six. In you go. Oh, you can skip that. Let's go. I thought we just had that on a previous one yet. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Platinum 6. So it's got the original episodes and it's got the director's cut episodes. Original ad or is it with one? Mm-hmm. 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 Okay, now the final disc. In you go. Ah, hmm. uh, what a shot straight in. Okay, so we've got the final disc with the little uh, Easter egg added in. Here we go. Do you love me, mashed potato? Yeah, there's only one director's cut episode for this. Because these two are their own things. Extras. So we got clean opening, closing, mythology of Evangelion Part 2. Mm-hmm. I don't let you skip in parts, so I just let you skip entirely. So let's check this out, shall we? Oh fuck, what? I just tapped the Netflix button on my controller. I don't want to watch Netflix. My fault. Right, where were we? So we're going to go on to episode 25. Now we'll look at the audio options for this one. To avoid any copyright, we'll go uh, 
that, and then we'll go, we've got one, two, one, two. So there's just two audio tracks on there. Okay. Okay, then we'll go on to number 27, sorry, 26, that's what I meant to say. And they should, I hope and cross my fingers, there'll be free audio tracks. Okay, here we go. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, here we go. One. Oh, shit. Okay. So you got one English there. Okay, it goes straight from one to four to three to Japanese. The fuck? You're just skipping two and... Oh, there's two. Okay. What does free do? I'm just confused as what free is. Is it commentary? That's a commentary. <laughs> okay. So we're going to go into... Oh, shit. There we go. The little Easter egg. Does it actually play? Is there any audio in it? Oh, there's no audio in it. It's quiet. Yeah, come play the episode now. Mm-hmm, yep. Yeah. Literally, I'm not making this up. I'm not muted. Okay. There we go. Oh, Look at Shinji upside down. Is that Shinji or Ray? Oh, that's Ray. You ran out of ink, yeah. They practically did in those last two episodes. <laughs> oh, that's funny. The end of everything better make up for it. Well, it made a... <laughs> it made an impact, put it that way. But yeah, I'm so happy you guys decided to join me in this uh, amazing little video of mine. I just set up an hour long. I didn't expect it to be that long. I'm so sorry. But uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you all in the next one. Uh, before I end this video, here's a little... Uh, I can't be off to take out my drawers because there's some of them in boxes. Plastic boxes up on my shelf. And then, um, right, can I show you? Fuck it. Right up there, see? My England hat and then my uh, ones there are my anime hoodies and shit. So I'll show you a bunch of stuff that I bought. So on the left, you have the front, and on the right, you have the back. So this was £18. I offered him fourteen fifty, and then it came with postage, so that is your answer. And, uh, so, yeah, I've <laughs> paid not that much when, uh, compared to what they originally wanted it. But I'm so happy to have it. Really happy. It's by a company called Bershka, I think. But, yeah, so proper, proper happy <laughs> that I have it. I'll show you something else. Okay, so this one I originally had to send back because I got a size that was bloody way too big, even though... All the other ones I buy in that size is, well, fucking they will fit me. This one definitely was not the size uh, <laughs> that they described. So I sent it back, got a refund, 
and uh, got a size down. So hopefully it fits better, really nice. I just don't like the way on the shoulders. They haven't got the yellow, which uh, does on the original Ray. But for some reason it's white, but it still looks really beautiful. And I cannot wait to wear it when I receive it. It's a Primark one. It says Primark Original. So this one also goes for around £10 like the other one does. I got it for dirt cheap on, on Vinted. I'm really happy. Uh, fits me perfectly. I'm proper stoked to have it. And yeah, another one to add to collection. I don't usually go for short sleeve shirts. I've got a lot of long ones, but I just had to snatch this up. It's a Primark original, just like the one you saw before in the previous uh, little clip just there. But yeah, yeah, another one to add to the collection. Another lovely one that uh, I spotted must, I was like, must have it, I must have it. Another Ray Iron Army from another legit company, not some Chinese made company. Really beautiful, really nice. It can get dirty very easily, but uh, lovely nonetheless. And yeah, absolutely beautiful. And I hope you enjoyed this video. A uh, really sad, sad end to this video. I'm going to announce that creator of Dragon Ball died yesterday. It is uh, currently past midnight now. Uh, what's the time? What is the time? 2.44am. God damn, I need to go to bed. Uh, and another three hours. <laughs> but uh, the creator of Dragon Ball died yesterday, which is very saddening. Very saddening. I didn't really watch Dragon Ball. I was never really a fan of Dragon Ball. But, uh... Yes, sad news. I think he died yesterday. I mean, we, we were told yesterday that he died. But, uh... Maybe, maybe did. Maybe died before that. I mean, Kentaro Miura's death wasn't announced till decades afterwards. I mean, we recently lost Yu-Gi-Oh's creator as well. Just in back in 22. Very sad... Sad to her here, and uh yeah if if I see you comments in the se uh comment section saying rest in peace to the creator Dragon Ball I knew you got this far in the video to uh, hear this, so yeah thank you and uh rest in peace to the creator of Dragon Ball. A lot of people will be very upset and yeah it's very sad, but uh. Thank you very much. If this video gets 50 likes, I will indeed show all the extras from the Blu-ray release. Thank you, and I'll see you on the next one. The Flying Halicha. Sure, bye-bye.